it's time for a mukbang. We're going to be banging on some pizza. But you know what? I wasn't going to do a mukbang, but, and I got overly excited. This was a piece of, a piece of, oh, what's it look like? Pizza with pineapple and bacon and pepperoni. It's a Pizza Hut piece of pizza. A Hawaiian. So last night we had pizza for supper. And I bought it, so I get to eat it. I bought two pizzas from Pizza Hut yesterday. Too pricey. I paid $40 for two pizzas. I'm usually a little Caesars kind of gal. The $6 extra pepperoni pizza. But we want something different. I got another piece of pizza in here too. This is a Supreme. Look at this. Look at all that junk on that Supreme. Mm. Pizzas aren't even warm. Oh, this was in the fridge all night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm having a dilemma. You know what my dilemma is? I have food in the house. But. I'm scared if I start cooking all the food that I have. The stores are going to be closed. Because from what I gather. What I've heard. They're doing a 14 day. Mm -mm -mm. A thing to peak the virus in 14 days. And a virus, well, they say there were, it's going to be like Pearl Harbor or 9-11 um, with a death toll within this two-week period. Which is scary. But they're also talking about if they don't see improvements like people like... I don't know what the improvements are going to be. That sounds really grim because they're talking on this side of their mouth and that side of their mouth. Oh, we're going to see this big disaster. But yes, it's going to be better in two weeks. But if it's not super better in two weeks, they're going to shut down essential businesses, being stores. So then you can't buy food. So. I want to do that because of social distancing. And they have stay home orders. Everybody needs to stay home as you go to the store. But yesterday on Sunday, which they had a news briefing with Trump and all these other people, and the lady that looks like Hillary Clinton, but her name's Bricks. She's a doctor. She's telling everybody don't go to the store. What the hell if you have a baby and you have to go buy formula or diapers or you just need something from the store? How's that going to work out? And now that she said that, watch all the fucking hoarders come out again. Buying up everything so nobody else can have anything. Tell them about toilet paper. I see it online for 20 year olds for like 60 something dollars. I can't afford that. Are they kidding me? Huh. He's playing. He had his baba and he had a diapy and he had food, so now he's playing. He didn't want to take a nap. We got Dewbug over here. She's watching her tablet and she's got pizza in that little yellow bowl. And we got. The Tinkerbell, the movie on. Um, yeah. And it snowed last night here in Nevada. I woke up. My truck was covered with snow. The ground's covered with snow. It's melting, but there's still snow everywhere. So. This is definitely some weird times. Because we had like weather where we could wear shorts a few weeks ago. Now it's cold again. I'm just hoping that um, the rain and the, the dampness will kind of wash all the germs away. 
Hmm. Who knows? I have a good drink. Diet Mountain Dew. When they're saying the same stuff on TV. Wash your hands. Well, didn't you guys wash your hands before? Why did all of a sudden they tell us to wash our hands? There's a rule at my house. If you don't, if you come out of the bathroom and you don't wash your hands, you're in trouble. You don't get into my kitchen without washing your hands first. So, yeah. Wash, wash, wash. <laughs> now there's no toilet paper, so now you gotta wash your butt. That's so funny. I don't know. This crown thing is wearing me out. How about you, Jesse? Is it wearing you out too? Yeah? What do you think? Is it going to be over with soon? The expert over there says it's going to be over with soon. Hope so. And the gender reveal. You know? Still trying to figure out how to do this. I can't get everybody assembled together. Social distancing. Baby's mama bought those sugar cookies that you see at Walmart. You know, with the pretty frosting on She got blue ones and she got pink ones. And that's how we're going to do the gender reveal. Now, see, I don't know what the gender is either yet. I'm still waiting. But she's gonna um put the cookies bottom side up on a plate and give everybody a cookie and we can't look at it and then we're gonna reveal the cookie. I guess that's how we're gonna do it. I don't know. We're still talking about but I wanna get AJ over here and her boyfriend and my young son and little mama. Can't get everybody together at the same time. But if I can't, we'll just have to do a regender view with me and Duty Bug. The only thing I can figure. Because I've been waiting too long, and I know you have too. I can't wait no longer. I want to know. Because I want to know. Yeah, when you got big boobs, you can put a plate on your chest. I'm not trying to be racist, but don't take it the wrong way. I used to know a black lady, or I still do know her. Her butt was so big, she could put a dinner plate on her backside and walk with it. No hands. You know, like how I got my... But she'd put that on her butt. Walk with it. We do sees her. We told her, imagine being a waitress and you come out with um, people's plates on your butt. <laughs> I don't know how she got this big old butt, but she does. Big old butt. I mean, you know, like how your back goes straight down and her butt goes room like that. It's like a whole shelf. Whoa. What do you think, Jesse? Is that funny, Jesse? Is that funny, Jess, Jess? These kids love the camera. I hope they, they grow up and be actors. Oh, this is a Supreme. Look at all those goodies on there. I don't think, though, that two pizzas aren't worth 40 bucks, though. And I was already there. And they tricked you. They get you to come in on this like app thing. No sad deal. So many pizzas for so much. And you get in there and you tell them, show them the phone. I want the sad thing. I want the so many pizzas for so much. Oh, okay. What kind of pizzas do you want? 
You can have this one, this one, this one. And every one that I picked was part of the pick. Then they ring the shit up. 39 something something. <laughs> At that point, I'm like, I just wasted a good 15, 20 minutes of my time. Actually longer. So we had to drive. I will say, 15, 20 minutes to drive up there. Find a damn place. Go inside. And order the pizza. I'm talking to the guy. She just dropped her pizza. Eat, honey. Yeah. So, that was like, you know, too long. And so, and because it was like a good way, this is like 12 miles away. You guys might think that's not nothing, but I don't go anywhere hardly. So to me, 12 miles and around the hills and in the canyon and blah, 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 over to Spanish Springs. Hmm. I better come back with something and not McDonald's. So when the guy says $39 and something, I'm like, are you sure? We're supposed to do the deal. He says, yeah, but that's what it adds up to. And I guess they're like pressing the point a little bit because you know, they're not getting business, so they're charging a little bit more. I don't know. AJ bought pizza for her and Mark yesterday. They bought one of the dinner boxes that was like 13 bucks, And they had four bowls of chicken wings. I forgot to ask them how much that shit cost. Crazy. No, you eat that. She's got pizza pizza and she wants some gyms. Eat your pizza first. Kind of weird. So what y'all been doing? You guys on total lockdown where you can't really go anywhere? We can go to essential businesses, but that's about it. But no. Our Winco, our grocery store, lets like 10 people in at a time. And who wants to get sick and stand out there in a line? Or the wind's blowing. It's cold and wet. I was getting somebody sick. That's crazy. I mean, I can see, I can understand. You know, keeping the crowd to a minimum, but. And they should put some kind of like little, some kind of windbreaker barricade for people. It looks like it's too hot. I can't do that. Just can't. I have no desire to go to the store at this point. Got baby wipes. Hey, though, gang, let me tell you about baby wipes. So. Don't flush these. Don't flush baby wipes if you use them in your bathroom. Don't flush them. Don't flush the flushables either, because let me tell you something. About a year ago, my young son used some baby wipes. Went down and flushed toilet flushed okay. Then all of a sudden, now the toilets were flushing. We had two bathrooms. The toilets weren't flushing. Because the damn baby wipes got head flush. Got stuck in the main line from the house to the road or whatever. And we had a big ball of baby wipes. So we had to have Rotary to come out, which cost $800. And, you know, like how they have the sewer thing, got the little brown crate thing. He had to lift that up, go in there, push up, and pull them baby wipes out. Don't flush baby wipes. 
or flushable wipes. Mm -mm. She's still my toppy on top of my little piece of pizza. You got some there, hon. So that was a lesson learned. Here, here's a piece of sausage. Yeah. And I'm still thinking about gardening, but here's a problem. Went to Home Depot over the weekend. And they're having this, so many people in the store, thing going on too. And I was wanting to buy bags of soil and cow poop. And look at tomatoes, if they had tomatoes, you know, like tomatoes or get the little starter kit things that you grow your own. Because I have planned to put a garden in by May 15th. It's going to be a container garden, but it's going to be a garden. And it's not going to be excessive where I'm going to be doing canning and freezing and all this stuff. But it's just something to enjoy. You know, fresh, why not? We have a peach tree, but last time I froze peaches, they turned brown. I don't know why they turned brown. I don't know, I have to like reduce. I used to freeze peaches all the time. I put them in Cool Whip containers and freeze them, and then in the wintertime, oh my god. Pull out a Cool Whip container with some fresh peaches. Oh my god, that's so good. But anyway, so mine last time turned brown. I don't know what happened. I did it wrong or something. But I think our peach tree is going to be loaded with peaches. Because there's got a zillion trillion little peach peach blossoms on it. We have like a cherry tree too. or Yeah, it's a cherry tree. I'm hoping we get enough cherries I can make a cobbler. This summer, I freeze cherries, but yeah, so kind of stoked about that. But I don't know if this damn virus would be done, really, but would be done. Oh, go ahead and have the rest of that. Guess what I found at the store? I found chocolate pebbles with marshmallows. I want to get into that so bad. I was debating on a piece of pizza or a bowl of cereal for my lunch. But it's like, ching, 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 ching. I spent all this money on this pizza. I better have a couple slices of pizza for lunch. There's like three slices left in the fridge. So yeah. Maybe I'll have cereal for supper. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with my muck dang. Uh, and are you still banging on food? <laughs> She's being silly. Anyway, so guys, I'll see you next month. Bang if you choose to come back. Hopefully, we'll have the gender review soon. Hopefully tonight. I have to talk to baby's mom when she gets home. She's working today. Anyway, so I'll see you later.